Next time you spot a flying saucer going past overhead, no need to worry. NASA is now building these on their own. They ain't getting help from Will Smith or Jeff Goldblum or nothing. I always thought as a kid if you could take a frisbee, get it to keep its momentum, then enhance it, make it big enough to put a person inside, well that would be the way to fly. Clearly I should be working at NASA. I even looked the part with these glasses, don't you think? I don't think they're accepting people with theater and film degrees. My name is Michael McCrudden talking to you about the low density supersonic decelerator here for you on IO. Currently NASA is testing out this saucer shaped spacecraft and it goes by the code name LSDC. Don't get confused with LSD, although if you see one of these you'll be like did I just drop some acid? The intention is to have it as a soft landing ship to make deliveries to Mars. There are reports that NASA will eventually operate full flight tests in Earth's atmosphere with these flying saucers. Yeah, the future is coming. If it works, well perhaps this will be the system in place that will allow us to have manned missions to other planets. Very exciting. If I end up living in a world where there's flying saucers and films like Mars Attacks and Independence Day become like classics that people laugh at because of their inaccuracies, well I'll probably have myself a heart attack. The craft which is 15 feet in diameter, it inflates to its size through a series of balloons that increase the surface area of the craft. It uses drag to decelerate from Mach 3 to Mach 2, preparing its payload for a softer landing on a Martian surface. Now Mars has a much thinner atmosphere than we have here on Earth so that's why they can't just use a handy dandy parachute. They gotta think outside the box, outside the sphere. Outside the box you get a sphere. Ah, too many shapes. I'm confused. Isn't pizza weird? You get a box, then you get a circle, and then you get triangles. I'm going on a tangent. No wonder I don't work at NASA. Now NASA has been hard at work trying to figure out how do you land something on a foreign planet. They came up with the sky crane and that was fantastic. It got curiosity onto Mars, but they need something else for bigger payloads. Although this flying saucer is small, the plan is to make them much much bigger. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, the future is here. I gotta ask you guys a question, so I wanna know, what's your favorite sci-fi film? Mine's Independence Day, welcome to Earth. <clears throat> But I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Also, if you want more information on this, as always, there is a description box. My name is Michael McCrudden, and uh, nice to be on IO.